Poovy. And I'm Lucky Eight's voice of Krieger. Yeah. We are halfway through season 10. Oh my God, and what a season it is so far, Amber Nash. It's been crazy. Fun Beak? Oh, uh, fun, yeah, I forgot about Fun Beak fun already. Fun Beak was my favorite part so far. <laughs> really? Yeah. Man, you know, I have, uh, I have, I'm playing every bird that ever appears on this show. <laughs> it's in your contract. It really, I, they finally gave me a contract and it was the bird shit contract. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've we've been uh, gladiators. Yeah, uh, we've been inside the belly of a giant space monster. That was a very scary episode. Yeah, that, that lady was very terrifying. Uh, yeah, Jillian Bell. Yeah. That, uh, oh, guest stars! So many great guest stars. Man. And in this episode, uh, not only do we see the return of Thomas Lennon uh, and Eric Sims as their Charles and Rudy. Yeah. Eric Sims works on the show. You yeah. Guys. yeah. Big uh, but also. Matt Berry, who is one of my favorite yeah. TV stars. And if you think they let us meet any of these cool people that work on the show, you're wrong. <laughs> Even if we run into them at a Comic Con, they kind of like, shuffle us to the side. Don't, yeah. don't, don't bother <laughs> Peter Serafinowicz. He's got much more things, more, more important things to do. Lucky, I have to say, you are looking very sharp tonight. Oh, you were you, and you, look, you look absolutely <laughs> stunning, Emily. Oh, thank you. Yes. I look like that, uh, that like sexy single mom that lived in your neighborhood. Neighborhood growing up. Yeah, yeah. I would slow ride my bike by her house. Yeah. Like maybe she's staring out the window yeah. looking for me. And I'm like, my, my kids just went off to college because I'm clearly in my mid 40s. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you are so ready to play that role. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, speaking of amazing, we got an amazing party going on oh, today. Boy. <laughs> We got guest stars. Yeah. We've got crew members. Yeah, we've got games to play. Yeah, we've got uh, fun fan stuff to show off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we've got yeah. questions. We've got questions. Uh, speaking of questions, you guys, this is a live show. So if you want to ask us a question while we're doing it, just uh, type, type in the comments. Like this. Like do like this. That's how I type. <laughs> and then that man in the corner. Hi. Who is that man? That's, that's Kevin Galise, the executive producer of this show and oh. also the executive producer of my love life, my husband. Uh, <laughs> and uh, speaking of, I do have some notes for you after, okay. so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I like this idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's, you're having a Me Too moment. I've, right got, I've got a question right here oh, yeah. from the internet. Okay. I think this came from Twitter. What's the most catchy joke you loved in the show besides phrasing? Ooh. Besides phrasing, oh, that's a tough oh, one. Oh, and I think mine's actually kind of a deep cut only because it was just a couple seasons ago. It didn't really catch on for long. It was just there for a blip, which is on my tits. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, mine is also a Pam one and it's from this season. Mm. And it's when you're, you're always saying smart. As soon as we say something like, oh, they, they eat each other, the whole crew ate each other because we didn't have anything else to do, and Pam just goes, smart. smart. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a running gag this season, and I think it's a real gem. It's a good one. Yeah, it really it's a good one. is. It really is. So if you want us to answer questions like that, oh, I have one too. Yeah. This is from uh, somebody named Christine Knowlton. Hey, did Krieger give birth to himself? Or just hatch from an egg. Weird. Well, oddly enough, you nailed it. He hatched. He hatched from a man egg. Uh, I do have a question already. Uh, oh. Alan Payton wants to know why we're in a cave. <laughs> oh, this, this is just where Listen, we do our show. But it's also this is Archer 1999, and we're in our Y2K bunker. <laughs> Which my family actually has a real one. I think they're still trying to get me to eat the canned tomatoes that were in that bunker <laughs> in 1999. Those are still good. <laughs> Do you guys like go down there and party? How does that work? I, I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know. You're you tell me. I, really? Yeah. I didn't go down in your parents' fallout shelter? Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's do it. <laughs> now, <laughs> Lucky, yes, it is not a party if I'm not awkwardly drunk on Chardonnay, oh. which I already am. Uh, great. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. I'm not so far, so <laughs> should we get ourselves a drink? We should. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> oh, check out all this party. Oh, look at this Looking good. Our audience is 
35% more beautiful than they were last episode. Wow. Oh, that's so nice. That wow. nice thing for you to say. Wow. Oh, it's our resident bartender, Bigfoot T. Sasquatch. Hey. Go on. How it going? Oh, great. Going pretty well. What, what, what you got going on over oh. there, Bigfoot? I know Bigfoot you're just working, uh, on working on a little drawing over here. Oh. This drawing of Bigfoot, Amber, and Lucky. Oh taking a nice stroll at night in the woods. Oh, that's really sweet. Uh, thank you, thank it you. It actually just kind of looks like some Star Wars characters. Wait, what's he talking about? Uh, do I? Is, no, no. Do I have a goatee or, oh wait, that's lucky. No, this Amber. <laughs> oh! You guys uh, Amber, Amber is the Han Solo character. No, that's not Han Solo. <laughs> that Amber, she holding the stick for firewood, and then she wearing, um, Hiking vest, okay. and then sensible pants, <laughs> and then Lucky, you listen to music, you wear headphones, you love music I so really much. I really do. I really love old timey '70s headphones. And then headphones. you wearing space princess dress. <laughs> and, As you do. And you're wearing a bandolier. Oh, that got do. survival gear. Mm. Okay. Like med kits. And like a protein bar. A protein bar, and then like a stim pack. Mm. <laughs> do you need all that stuff for the woods? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys need drinks. Yeah, yeah, I would love to have it. What, what, what are you got? drinking this, today? Okay, this is called Space Goo. I think this one's yours. In oh, honor of Archer. That's for Lucky. Drink called this Space Goo. Ooh. Hey, uh, speaking of, I got another uh, question yeah. here uh, oh. from uh, Facebook. Uh, Christina wants to know what your favorite drink ever named on Archer. What's your oh. favorite drink? We got good Space Goo tonight in the in the cave, but that's good I one. mean, the, you know, there's the classic Green Russian. The Green which, Russian oh. is great. For all those people that I meet at cons that try to take me back to their hotel room to try a Green Russian, I'm never gonna do it. Um, I'm just not gonna may, go back to your hotel room. Maybe the next Green time Russian. you will, though. <laughs> never know. So. Okay, you're not. Uh, right. I mean, I, it's tough to beat uh, our Scotch, which is Glen Gooley, mm. uh, yeah. which I just think is a. A beautiful name for a, a fake scotch. <laughs> this space goo is weird. Yeah, you like that? I mean, space goo, according to the show, is a god awful smelling and tasting thing, but let's. Yeah. I mean. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. You remember when your mom used to make like. Gr like lime sherbet and uh -huh. like um, pineapple juice and Sprite at those sexy parties where the single mom was there <laughs> from the neighborhood. <laughs> That's kind of what this tastes like. It, it tastes like old medicine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to know what's in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, mm -hmm. what's going on there? Well, first of all, you probably don't. Okay. <laughs> no. okay. Let me tell you, number one ingredient is uh, purple algae. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. From, some, some people call it algae. Oh, not are, me. are they wrong? <laughs> <laughs> In the woods, we call it algae. Okay, okay. okay. And um, that mostly it. Oh. <laughs> it's just a bunch of purple algae. Yeah. Is, is it healthy to drink? Um, probably not. <laughs> In that uh, case. I have some jokes oh. for you all. Sweet. Um, we, we worked on them. They're yeah. all yours. Do what you want with them. Well, I think we should probably tell them <laughs> instead of hiding them. Let's tell some jokes. I'm not going to take this drink with me because every time I drink it, I can't talk for the next 30 seconds. <laughs> it's That's very the, viscous. That's the pectin. <laughs> Great. Let's okay. tell some jokes. Let's go to the show area. <laughs> John Carr's making love to that sailor. Mm, why wouldn't you? He's making love to the sailor lamp. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Our show writers write these monologue-style jokes mm -hmm. during the airing of the episode that just happened. Yeah. So none of these jokes are really older than 25 Yeah, minutes. right. And we thought, not one person do jokes, two people do. Now I'm talking like Bigfoot. <laughs> it's very catchy. Easy. You're like one of those people that go to some region, like, I go to Pittsburgh and immediately pick up on the oh, accent. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I, I say yins. When I come back from Canada, where Kevin's from, that's all I talk like. Yeah, yeah. we're all a boot. I'm all a boot it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go with some monologue, or as we like to call, duologue jokes. Nice. Since there's two, thank you. Thank, thank you. Number. Thank, thank you. Hey, tonight's episode was all about Mr. Deadly. You know, they used to call me Mr. Deadly. Of course, it was preceded by Silent Butt. Oh. <laughs> I have to say, I love Mr. Deadly. 
I love him. It's yeah. so great. He's yeah. so funny and Matt fun Perry. on the show. Also, uh, star of FX's uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Which is so <laughs> funny. It's so funny. Yeah. So funny. So okay. check that one out, too. At the start of the episode, they find an abandoned ship with the message, Beware End of Life, written on the hull as a warning to all those who enter. And those same words are also tattooed on my butt for the exact same reason. <laughs> Oh, 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 zingo! It's true. <laughs> Kevy, the, the executive producer of your love life, throws his words in there. Hey, inside information. So, right, right. when Cyril, Ew. when Cyril inhaled all that Prometheus dust, I thought he'd grow a chest burster. That or some balls, but I guess I was wrong on both fronts. <laughs> Him. Oh, I really got <laughs> I got that cartoon character. A doomsday device that can grow two dicks? I'd call that a boomsday device. <laughs> if he can grow three, I'd make him a groomsday device. Uh, okay. Sorry, Kev. Oh, no, it's, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, following up on that, if I could just grow a new wiener anywhere I wanted, I think I'd pick Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke in the whole thing. It really, is. <laughs> it really is. That is my kind of humor. It's an excellent, it's an excellent place to grow a wiener. <laughs> the phrase, please detonate, was crucial in tonight's episode. I noticed it immediately because that's what I say when I'm tired and need my husband to finish. <laughs> Man, he's airing some shit out. Am I right, ladies? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like Pierre's throwing the USA's out there. Hey, hey, if I was showing a weird doomsday device new experiences to try before he dies, I'd take him to Arby's. John Benjamin. <laughs> Not just for the delicious sandwiches, but so that he could know what diarrhea feels like. Oh. So, no, Arby's, Arby's, it's a joke. If you want to sponsor this show, we are all about it. I'm just I'm kidding. There was just I a joke. I love Arby's. All right, here we go. <laughs> When's the last time you ate at an Arby's, Amber? It was just yesterday. Oh, I had good. curly fries. They're the best. All right, and now, inspired by the concept of a spaghetti vacation, Ooh. here are the top five Pasta parties that didn't make the cut. All right, here we go. Yeah, right. Number five, cannelloni bration. Yeah. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. Number four, lasagna luau. Oh. Yeah. Number three, farfalle fiesta. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, macarodio. <laughs> We do. Uh, we've got producer and editor of the show, Pierre Serrato is here. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. stuff works. It's really good. <laughs> it definitely does work. That's for sure. That pectin. Is there alcohol in this Bigfoot? Uh, presumably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Pierre, There's not, you, not alcohol in. <laughs> that algae went bad. Yeah. Yeah. Pierre, you you are an editor on the on this uh, show. Yeah. A dialogue for about, editor for about mm -hmm. eight to nine seasons now. So wow. you've listened to a lot of stuff. Yeah, you've heard it all. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit. Do you listen to? Every take we take, or do they give you specific cuts? Yes, I listen to just about everything so that you guys everything say. Everything that happens in the booth. Yeah, when you guys cough, when you hit the mic stand, and then you when ruin a perfectly good take. <laughs> wow, when we're yeah. being assholes and demanding things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, here's an Archer fun fact that a lot of people don't know, is we don't record this show in the same room. Correct. Uh, what? The cast is separated across the country. You guys aren't even in the same room at the same time. No, we're yeah. not. Even no. though, yeah, we, we're there on the same day, but uh, we record individually. Yep. So. Take a, how do you make it sound like we're all Because that's what we all get. Every time we get asked a question at a, at a panel, it's how does it not, I mean, how are you not all in the same room? Because it sounds like you're all in the same room having a conversation. Well, lots of Glenn Gooley. 
You're just drinking at work. Nice. I was just drunk. I mean, I sit in a room by myself for unsupervised for about eight to ten hours. So wow. yeah. every day, there's nothing <laughs> stopping you from drinking all day long. <laughs> Abusive amounts of alcohol. And you're just, so if you're hearing like like three, or let's say you've got five takes that are all great, you just like pick the one that you think works the best. Well, the fun thing is, is that there's millions of ways to create the show. Mm -hmm. You know, but fortunately, we have such a great script that we can just kind of follow that. And what you guys give us is usually gold, so it's kind of like, I like this, I like this, I like that. Uh, but, like, I, I know personally, like, I'll record the same line and I'll do it three or four completely, like, different ways. Like, putting inflections yeah. on different words and hitting different uh, things. Like, how do you do it's, it? it? Crackers was fun. Well, we'll use Crackers as an example. Yeah, yeah, because Crackers was the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 really was about it. Uh, Lucky Anna, I do have a question for you from uh, Facebook. Yeah. Here. Uh, is there uh, Barry wants to know any chance of getting Archer characters on ways to make driving more enjoyable? Oh, oh sweet! That sounds like it'd be a lot of work That's for us. Work. <laughs> Turn left. <laughs> Look out, cops! <laughs> wait, wait, try it. You have to try it like five more times. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, so, okay, so going back to crackers being the best. Uh, yeah, so I you record many different ways. We didn't mm -hmm. actually use any bird sound effects for you. You recorded all the bird sounds yourself. Right. So yeah. it was fun finding this is sad crackers, or elated crackers, ha ha ha, whatever. You want. So, all that stuff was super fun to assemble and try to make sound like to give crackers a human bird, uh -huh. a voice, so cool. you know, based on all the things that you gave us. Yeah. Now, when, when you're thinking about all the actors that are on the show, who's, who goes in there and just is the best? Like, just does Mallory. the best job? Jessica Walter. Well, of course! Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Well, I heard, Hands and down. I didn't know this, Jessica sits down in the booth, which might sound like, oh, of course she does, but we all stand up in the booth, so I, I found yeah. it to be interesting that she sat down. Well, you know, she's a pro, and she just goes in, is always on time. All her, she does about two or three takes per line. You know, she's read the script, so she knows exactly what she's doing. But I mean, what can't she? What what would she do wrong? Right, nothing. Honestly. She's and a legend. You know, it's yeah. funny right. that you say she read the script, which most people would assume everybody does, but that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> there really is. It's, yeah. it's, it's fairly evident. Yeah, yeah. I, I for like the first few seasons, like the, the beginning, I didn't read the script, and then I was like, oh, this show's kind of a big deal. There's like famous people in the cast. I just <laughs> start reading my yeah. script. I know what happens in this episode I'm recording. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's another Jessica fun fact is that um, she, she's such a legend and a pro and everything, and uh, you guys uh, FedEx a hard copy of the script to her every yep. time. She actually gets a paper script yep. delivered to her so that she can go through mm -hmm. and highlight it and do Makes it her notes. old school and That's awesome so like we cool. used to, yeah. Yeah, it's weird that if I ever met her, I would want to be, I remember you from PCU. That was my favorite. Wow. Oh, oh, man. Vice wow. Prince. 90s? Yeah, 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 Somewhere yeah. in the 90s. Jeremy she was in that film. So she'll remember, cool. she'll have anecdotes oh, yeah, totally. and, uh, galore from yeah, yeah. that film. She remembers everything. She says so some of the things that you say between the takes, that's yeah. some of it, where Jessica will be like, I remember this from this <laughs> that's thing. That's so and, cool. Uh, and you've never met her. No. We've got to remedy that. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll hook you up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll, we won't hook you up. She is married. <laughs> But uh, to someone that was on the show. Yeah, was Ron Archer, uh, Ron, Ron Liebman. Yeah, Ron yep. Liebman. He's yeah. also on the show. Broadway mm -hmm. legend. Yeah. Also yeah. film, other, other film legendary, Broadway yeah. legend. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> who's the filthiest of the cast? Like, you know, honestly, everyone's pretty chill. Mm. But I would say that maybe John is <laughs> like just the most surly. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. But I've been listening to it. his voice since like 2006 because I used to work at a place called Soup to Nuts. Oh. Uh -huh. And you know, as you know, he was in home movies. Great. Right. Oh, so you already were used to working with him. So since 2006, my animation career has been listening to John wow. Benjamin's voice. Yeah, that's not a bad thing to do. That's super good. I have one more question for you. Okay. So there's been some times on the show where we've had to speak Spanish. We've had to speak lots of different languages, and yeah. that we're you not have. at all prepared to do. Yeah. Um, so in speaking Spanish, who's the best? Oh, man. <laughs> that is a hard question. Who's the worst? Or who's the worst? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone does a fantastic <laughs> job. <laughs> Some jive ass bullshit right there. <laughs> I want to hear some dirt. <laughs> you guys do such a good job. You know, some like for example, someone has the line quinceañera, <laughs> and then you know, just they lost the enya completely. Yeah. And then you know, they just 
But you know, you get it. Quinceanera, but whatever. <laughs> is, that, is that me? I can't tell you. <laughs> Amber, is it you? I don't know. Do you not know how to say quinceanera? I thought I did. Quinceanera. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Well, we know it's not you. Uh, well, thank you so much, Pierre, for yeah. joining us. Thank you for me. Uh, you guys are hang out with us and, and keep yeah. partying. You're going to play a game with us in a oh, little bit. I can't wait. I listen yeah. to you guys' yeah. voices all the time, and I love you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, who do, you, who do you love the most? Yeah, who's who the, the best? Cast? Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes! Uh, is that because it's just more delightful to listen to? More <laughs> jokes? More bang for your buck? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be a good lawyer. <laughs> He's leading the witness, Your Honor. Uh, well, we like to celebrate our fans on yes. the show, and we like to and focus. And in real life. And in real life. Yeah. Um, but we like to focus on a fan uh, every episode. And this week we're focusing on, on Leia Thompson. Leia Thompson, uh, which you can follow on all the lines at, at Sky Juice Creations. It's like juice. From the sky, yeah. that's creating things. That's right. And we we were uh, we found out about Leia because she started posting stuff. This was a couple, couple years of years ago. ago at least. And so we'd see these little crochet dolls of Archer characters, and then I'd repost it or you'd repost yeah, we'd it. Yeah, we flipped for them and immediately. And people online went bonkers. They really did. Yeah, she they really like, loved it. She was she's so, so appreciative. Good. Yeah, she's and she's so such a wonderful woman, um, and she's so appreciative of all the love she gets about. So she things. sent us all of these, and the, the, she made all of these. It probably in a few months, I'm thinking. Like once she kind of really got into she it, she goes, was just banging yeah, them out. Yeah, she really goes fast. So there's new ones that I've never even right, seen. So here, I'm going to so. show this one. So, so this one is the wee baby Seamus, who also has the Archer tattoo. No way! Yes, no. like they're so good. There's every one of really? them have like their little things. Too. Yeah, like here's Alana. There's we go with Alana. Oh, very good, so very good. good. So yeah. good. This is a Cheryl with her glue. Oh yeah. yeah. Here's a Krieger with a lab coat, and uh, he's going to a rave in the Matrix movies. <laughs> Uh, so he's got his hair all pulled back. So uh, great. You got Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, he got ooh, some deep cuts Conway, in there. I got some deep cuts. Uh, I got Conway Stern. Oh, yeah. right oh, right there. With, a with, with a bloody <laughs> stump. His, his hand has been ripped off. John Carr, you dressed as Conway Stern last episode. Uh, I've got a Babu here. Very cute. Aww. I think Babu was one of the first ones she did. It was one of the ones where everybody just went berserk because yeah. it's like the cutest thing you've ever seen. Look at that this one. Great. It's a Brett Tombstone. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, R.I.P. So so Brett. So good. Here's an, a Woodhouse with, with his eggs, Woodhouse. Uh, yeah, so cute. Milton the Toast Bot. What? <laughs> Remember Milton? This was my favorite character that season. That's when Milton so was in it. So amazing. Uh, and speaking of, here's a uh, Robert Klein to go with Krieger. Oh, this is a Klein. deep, deep, deep cut, cut from the first step, first season. <laughs> so uh, and Pierre, this will make you happy. Cracker. Crackers! <laughs> Amber, uh, Amber, that's... Lucky, we got a question from Facebook. We yeah. got a, uh, real quick. Okay. They want to know if those are for sale, if they can be purchased anywhere. Are those are those crochet dolls available for sale? I don't believe that they are, but you can follow Leia, and she's very responsive online, and she will tweet you back or she'll answer your questions on Instagram and let you know. Also, the Mallory has little mean eyebrows. I just want to make sure that you notice that. Um, so she's she's really incredibly talented, and there's so many people out there. That do incredible fan art, and we really, really appreciate it. Here's Ray, which kind of looks like a blonde <laughs> me. Because Ray is a blonde me. That's right. Yeah. That's and great. Piggly Three! Yay! Yay! Piggly Three! My favorite of the Piggly's. They're all so cute. Because he Leia. eats humans. We appreciate you and your talents so much. Thank you so much for making these amazing dolls and, for us. Yeah, and if you guys have cool fan stuff that you want to post, you can post it at, at ArcherFXX on Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Just tag that stuff, and we'll try to find it, and maybe we'll focus on you on a show. Yay! 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 So Yay! 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 You want to know you, something Aaron. cool? Yeah! Uh, Leia is actually uh, in the comments right now. She Whoa. said, no way. She said uh, Babu was the last one she did. I just thought it'd be cool okay, if I right. want to say hi to Leia. Yay. Hi, Leia. Thank you so much. Yeah, we love you, Leia. We Thank really you do. so we much. Really do. Uh, um, 
Lucky, it's not a party without a party game, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I knew last time we played, can you guess what I'm trying to draw? <laughs> uh, very controversial <laughs> game. And this, this week, we're going to play a game that I love to play when I'm having slumber parties, which I still have well into my 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Is it with those kids that are slow riding past your house? <laughs> What's going on? Going <laughs> I just, I, I actually have like a bike rack installed in front of in my yard, so I'm like, kids are welcome to come by. <laughs> I, this is uh, getting really bad. That's not true. There's an ice cream truck out front. <laughs> no, this is not true. It's not true. But this is all for <laughs> hilarity's sake. The game that we're going to play now is one of my favorites called Bone Date Bid Good Day. Oh, I love Bone Date Bid Good Day. Yeah, let's go wow. play. everybody hold the phone it's me we've got right here at the party we've got a uh, former art director of the show but also face and voice of mm -hmm. Brett Neil Holman <laughs> How are you? I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Thanks for having me here. This is awesome. Oh, wow. Th thanks for joining us. Um, how long were you the art director for the show? You're no longer with the show. You've moved on to other projects. I'm like a consulting, pro pro uh, producer? Sorry, consulting producer on the show. So like I will pop in to be like, mm, looks good uh, <laughs> currently. But yeah, I was uh, on the show from the pilot uh, wow. through most of season six and some of season seven. I popped back in in season eight. I'm around a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so around you were, a lot. You worked with us way back in the day when we were on Frisky Dingo. Yeah, yeah. Back in yeah. that old house. Back in the salad days. Yeah, yeah. Bigfoot so was there too. Yeah. Frisky Dingo and mm -hmm. the pilot of Archer was all made in a house in East Atlanta where it was just uh, nine people in a house with one uh, bathroom. Yeah. It was, uh, it was great. Every it was great. Time, every great. time I went there, I'd like walk in and be like, is anybody here? Like, it was just like scary. Like, there's just a bunch of dudes like working on computers. The, the neighbors came dudes. over because they thought we were running like a drug house <laughs> to like see, like, what's going on here? Like, no, hey, it's fine. It's just nerds. Yeah. It's, uh, it's all good. And they would nerds. lock us in a like crappy closet to record our lines. It was terrifying. It was not. The fart box was not crappy. <laughs> that was state of the art <laughs> television <laughs> studio. <laughs> It's called the fart box now. <laughs> Can't be good. Anyway. How does Bone Date Bid Good Day work, Lucky? Just like F. Mary Kill, except oh. a little gentler. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, you're going to bone somebody instead of effing them. Yeah. Uh, you're going to date them. It's a lot more non-committal than marriage. Yeah. Uh, and also a lot easier to get out of. Yeah. There's not a yeah. contract with the law involved. Yeah. And uh, Bid Good Day. Instead of murdering Instead someone. of murder. Which <laughs> right. I think is just good. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, uh, Shall I go first? Please do. Who do you have? Okay, so I have Archer. Oh. Oh. Okay. Space Archer. Lana. Oh. Space Lana. And Cheryl. Oh. oh my god, this is really hard. Okay. Those are heavy hitters. Okay, oh. so I think that honestly, I'm gonna have to bid good day. I'm gonna start there. Oh. Already I, you're bidding good day? I think wow. so. It's a good one to get rid of somebody. I think I'm gonna have to bid good day to Archer. Oh. Oh. What? Why? What? But why? Wait, or, or Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> 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 but like, I feel like we could get a lot of stuff done together. <laughs> we'll be on time for everything. Yeah, we've been okay. very efficient. Sure. Okay. 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 Great. Pierre, why don't you, uh, who do you got? Who do you got? Show the camera. Who oh do you got? got? Adventure Pam. Oh, oh, oh Amazon Pam. Pam. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rock, Rock Pam. 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 Oh. And, uh, this one's hard. Cocaine oh. Pam. Cocaine, Cocaine Pam. Pam. Oh. Pam. Oh, yeah, the pan pack, yeah. Okay, These are tough. Pack. Three pams is tough. Yeah. Oh, triple pams. Three pams. Yeah. Trip pams. <laughs> who do you who do you bid good day to? I bid good day to Space Pam. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's, it's fair. It's Not fair. Yeah. She looks really, really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> she, she also hurtful. has smelly space boners. 
That's an issue. Can't compete. I mean, I don't need competition. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge. Okay. All right. We're not at work, Neil. I'm just so saying. Let him make his choice. So, Judging the smell of her boners is a little far. <laughs> so what was it? Dating. It's like a, it's non-committal, but then boning is which boning one? Boning is just in yeah, you're fucking. just boning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor for sex, dude. Uh, uh, oh! Oh! oh. 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 Wow. Is that wow. an option? You I think so. The judges, you did sure? Why not? You <laughs> did. You would date none of them. <laughs> wow. Wait, did I do that right? <laughs> no. You, you have to date yeah. one of them. Yeah. I don't know. I think. I, I feel like, like he's yeah, fine. He I mean, does, he's very clearly saying he doesn't want to date. And then somebody else has the date too. Of I theirs. feel like okay. an, I feel like adventure <sighs> Pam and cocaine Pam are kind of one and the same. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I can make up for this. I can okay. make up for this. Right. Reddit is not going to be happy. I've got. I will not. I will not Ray challenge Ray Gillette. Ray Gillette. Mom uh, after lucky he's, he's so handsome. Mm -hmm. If only he were a brunette, he would be the most handsome character on the entire show. Watch out. I've got Cyril. Yeah. I know exactly where Cyril's going. <laughs> or do I? Because I've also got Brett. Oh! Brett Bunsen apparently hey. is his last name. Which I never knew until no, Neil told either. me before the show. Whatever you He's do an Brett, amazing you, individual. Right. Whatever right. you pick for Brett, you also mean for Neil, too. Oh. <laughs> because you are the face and voice. Choose wisely. Okay. Snakes. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going. We've been friends for a long time. I mean, this really? can affect that. Will it really? I mean, <laughs> well, I'm bidding good day to you. Oh! I'm, out of here! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Nobody wants to have anything. Oh! Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bone Brett. Yes! Yes! Happy ending. Just because yes. he's. Yes! <laughs> You're a sexy man and I'm, I'm going straight. Oh. I'm going to date this man forever. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Imagine okay. what an attractive couple you would be. Oh together. my God, think of our babies. <laughs> they would look just like, they would look just like me. <laughs> They're like Krieger babies. It would answer the question from earlier. Your little man eggs would come out. All right, Neil. All right, guys. So. Here's your time for what revenge. Do you got? I've got. Oh, Android oh. Krieger. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I've got Barry. Oh. Terminator Barry. Terminator Barry. Yeah. I assume he comes with other Barry. And <laughs> last but not least, one oh, Conway yeah. Stern. Yeah. Yeah. Sexy, sexy yeah. Conway Stern. Sexy, Stern. sexy Conway Stern. It's kosher. Uh, <laughs> it's a hard choice oh, boy. all around. Boom. All comes Crazy. down to this, Neil. <laughs> what if I choose wrong? Um, you can't choose wrong. You can't choose wrong. I can. I, I, th I know everybody wants to bone Conway Stern, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I bit him good day! Oh! I bit him good day! Oh! No! Oh. Is it no. Wow. He's impossibly <laughs> handsome, bad in bed! That's a rule! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know that was a rule. It's true, it's true. Now I will bone Krieger! <laughs> <laughs> you guys lover. are going home together. Too. We really are. I feel like. Uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this hand, but I like it. Yeah. And then I'm going to date Barry wow. and Barry. Wow. wow. Really? I Why? never, never have to fix the Wi Fi. <laughs> he can handle Comcast. <laughs> it's fine. Wow. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that Solid was points. Bone Date, Big Good Date. You can play yourself <laughs> We'll send you the yeah. home version. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a home version. Well, yeah. I want that. It's not as good as this one, okay. but it's good. All right. <laughs> Thank well, you so much to our guests. Well yeah. done, guys. Well done. Thank you, guys. Yeah, go party. Thanks. Have a seat uh, on the couch. Yeah, get out of our way, because <laughs> we're going to go here. have a nightcap over oh. at the bar. Oh. We're going to have a nightcap. That's right. Yeah. Answer some questions. Wow. What a show. Wow. Oh, thanks. Oh, where'd my space goo do? I don't know, my space oh, goo's gone too. They're all gone. My space goo went away. It's almost over, Lucky. It's been such an exciting evening. This show flies by so fast. It really I does. can't even believe it. I know. Wow. It's I know. so bummed. I'm so bummed out about it. But it's time for some burning questions. That's right, we've got some questions right here. I want to learn. 
Oh, boy. <laughs> and people can ask him on, online. Yeah, and people can ask him online, yeah, yeah, so please. keep them rolling in. Kevin will let us know. We'll start with this one, since we were just talking about it. What does Pam's boner smell like? Oh, <laughs> okay. I believe that it smells like if boiled eggs had wet fur. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very okay. okay. <laughs> but everybody smell. knows exactly what that smells like. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always just sort of imagined like old broccoli. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you know how broccoli yeah. really smells yeah. kind of rank after a while? Yeah. Or maybe That's it smells good, who knows, but hey, probably not. I got, a, I got a question for you from Facebook. Okay. Uh, Heather Schmidt Godwin wants to know, how much is improvised in the in the lines of the dialogue? Mm. Oh, that's an excellent Ooh. question. question. Uh, none, really. Yeah. Uh, the scripts are so tight uh, that we really, there's not a lot of room to goof around. The only times we really get to throw in our own words uh, is sometimes it'll say, the group reacts to this. And uh, we'll throw out all manner of mm -hmm. little side snarky yeah. comments and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. you kind of try to go for the, the zinger, because if you get the zinger, I don't know, Pierre, are you responsible for this? There's always yes. sort of one that's late <laughs> in the game. Yeah. There's one that's late in the game and maybe a little louder than the rest, yeah, which is sort of the punchline. Sometimes of the I like the picks someone to get the focus in, oh, no. in the good yeah, direction. Right. So, so all the, all, every, every character has had their little thing in there. You know what else I love about you, Pierre? I'm going to compliment you on this right now, is uh, pauses. You'll put hilarious <laughs> pauses in at, you know, that don't exist because we're all recording separately. We slave over that. Do you really? Wow. really do. do you like, oh, not long enough to, to yeah. We watch it. We watch every episode about 70 to 80 times. Nonstop. Wow. And God, a testament to how funny the show is is that we can watch it that many times if we're still laughing. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Hey, uh, I got another good one yeah. here for yes. you from Facebook. Jimmy uh, Lewis wants to know, who's the lady at the end of the show in the credits? I always thought it was Pam. <laughs> Oh, the lady, oh, the Floyd, the Floyd County, County lady. lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you know the story? I don't. I don't for sure know either, but I think that Adam once told me that it was just like clip art, basically. Like, <laughs> is that right? Don't you know? Yeah. It's, just some, it's just some lady. Yeah, we bought that picture. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Do you know who it's the lady? It's my mom. It's my mom. It's, it's, it's not your mom. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's her it's not. just Neil. some gal that looks like she'd hang out with Pam. Yeah. Right, yeah. Or me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Alan Payton. Can I be on the show? No. <laughs> you know what, Alan? It's so funny because a, a, being actors in Atlanta, Lucky and I have lots of people that are like, hey, man, how do I get on Archer? And it's like, good luck, buddy. Now, like, it, nobody can get on Archer because we have, like, super huge, like, yeah. Christian Slater can barely get on Archer. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know how Christian Slater got on it? He wrote a, an email, that very yeah. same email of, like, hey, Adam Reed, I love it. Can I be on the show? And, yeah. and like, he gleamed the cube. <laughs> <laughs> Gleam oh, the cube in the 1980s. Yes. Christopher Stephen Reed wants to know, would you ever get an archer tattoo? Ooh. Oh, good question. Ooh. Good question. I think it's hard because it, I, like, I won't even wear like archer t-shirts because I don't want to be like, oh, hey, hey guys, uh, you know what I do for a living? Because I'm just buying the sandwich in Subway and I just want you to know that I work on this show. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard. I would maybe get the full back tattoo. If I did it, I'd go oh, full the in. The yeah. yeah. yeah, that's a good yeah. one. And uh, would you do a Krieger tattoo? I would get crackers. Oh, you would get the, the Krieger symbol? The Krieger, uh, the oh, Krieger yeah. army symbol that Neil, uh, Neil Oman designed. Yeah. There he is. Early stickers, uh, or the clone bones. Yeah. Or uh, maybe clone the clone bone. bone. Maybe the clone bone. It has to be after the show was over, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, long after. Yeah. yeah. When both of us are like, Sad drinking too food. much, <laughs> and like we don't have jobs anymore, yeah. and we're just getting lots of tattoos. <laughs> Amber, I found a new can of beans. You want to split it? Oh, man. Um, I got this question from Alyssa Jackson. Will Archer ever replace Woodhouse? Ooh, good question. That's a good question. I feel like that's a hard, hard person to replace. Uh, yeah. Well, we would never replace uh, the actor. We would never replace George Coe, of course, so Woodhouse is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, but would Archer, the character, yeah, ever get, another, get a like, new butler? Yeah. Sure, why not? I would I say mean, so, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of... Uh, but he was with him from like being pretty young, right? right? Like a child. True. So, kind of hard. Lucky, uh, James Michael Morales wants to know uh, if it would ever be possible to have an Archer Frisky Dingo crossover episode. Oh. We did, kind of. I mean, we had Man, that's crazy. Especially in season one 
uh, look in the background yeah. in Krieger's lab, yeah. there is clearly an Extical suit being built. <laughs> <laughs> and behind, like, yeah. sort of foggy glass, there's this big Extical suit back there that Krieger's working on. Yeah. So, could happen. If they're different networks, I don't know that those networks get along with right. one another very well. I have no idea. And so, Mr. Like, Ford was on an episode. That's true. Yeah. There is already crossover yeah. with Mr. I Ford. I so, say, I think Simone. Yeah. And Simone as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I played Simone we, quite well, I, we I would say. Good old and there's a lot of references. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Who yeah, it's, I, we're already maybe. sort of crossing over. I got another one for you, Lucky, here. Uh, what's been your favorite iteration of Krieger? Kevin Stolmeyer wants to know. Ooh. Oh, Kevin, this is a tough question. Which Krieger do I love the most? I gotta go Cracker, man. Yeah. I love, I love, I love Krieger so much, but nothing beats Cracker. <laughs> so I'm with Pierre on this one. Crackers was Crackers. where it was. Awesome. Well, it's Bird been Cop. Such a fun night. Oh, oh such a great we night. We absolutely love doing the show. We'll be back for our last show after episode 10 on July 31st. Which, important yeah. note, yes. uh, next week there won't be an Archer on July 3rd. It's uh, Independence Day. Oh. There's going to be uh, special programming going on on FX and FXX. Uh, so there won't be an Archer next week. There's a week off. So our finale will be on July 31st. And you can join us here for the giant end of season party. Yeah. Amber Nash, this has been an absolute blast yet again. Yet again, and follow us on Archer FXX on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. You're already there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and from all of us to all of you, thanks so much for Bye. watching. Bye. Georgia.